Today we're going to be learning to draw the skull. And in the past we've learned to draw the skull with sketching and the dark areas filled in. Now we're going to work from the opposite. We're going to sketch again, but this time we're going to fill the light and medium gray areas in. And this is how we do that. Get a piece of black paper and somewhere on the back, small, put your name. and then your hour. Okay, it will be in chalk. It might smudge a little bit, it really won't come off. Turn it over, and with that white chalk, looking half at this paper and half at your paper, begin to capture the lines again. This should just be nothing but practice at this point since you've already drawn it in pencil. Remember, start with the basic shapes first. And if something doesn't fit, yes, even with chalk, you can erase. I see that that doesn't look very good there, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to erase it, and it comes right off. And then I'm going to redraw it so that I think it looks good. Now that looks a little bit better. Okay. It's called restating the lines. I'm going in and I'm trying to put where I think the line should go. I know it looks sloppy, but this is the way most artists start. I'm going to block in where I think the eyes should go. And if I don't like it, I can just restate the lines or erase them and try again. Remember when I said, try and draw the front two teeth in? Well, they're the biggest ones. They land right in the middle. And from then, we can spread out and figure out where the other teeth shall be. I, I won't be able to draw them exactly correctly, but I'll try and get close enough. I mean, I'm not going to catch every tooth, and that's not really that necessary. I would try my best is all I'm going to be able to do. This guy had really good teeth, whoever he was. Okay, keep on trying. Get approximately the front teeth in, then we can go and suggest the bottom ones. They kind of look like little triangles coming out of the bone. They rely right at the top of his teeth are overlapping the bottoms as most bites are. Okay, and we got that line here and this line here. Now I can go back and adjust whatever I need in and then erase. Right here we have the colors black, gray, and white. And if we mix just these two together, we get a gray. And if we mix these two together, we get a lighter gray. So we're going to be blocking in what the highlighted, the brightest areas are on the skull first, with just the pure white. So on this picture, I see some of this. I'm just going to capture. Remember, we can always change our drawing, too, if we don't think it's working for us. Just trying to capture some of the lighter areas that I see on my picture. Of course, this is all in highlight here. Now, I can really color really hard, and that might help. But also, if I just rub it gently with my finger, I can make it a really nice white. So if we set the chalk, which we need to so it doesn't come off when we pick it up, this is how we set it. We just gently touch and rub it into the fibers of the paper. So here's pretty much the light areas. One thing you have to remember about working with chalk is that if you make a mistake, you can't rub it like that to get some of the extra chalk off because then you'll smear the whole thing. So just gently take your paper, tap, tap, and it comes off, and that's it. Don't try and rub it off with your hands or it'll make a huge mess. Now I think that I'm going to start looking for some of the gray areas. Now I'm not going to jet black yet, just the gray areas. I have two ways of doing that. Well here's a gray right here and I can just put it in. But if it's too dark, how do I fix that? I add some white to it, just like mixing paint. And rub where the two meet and we're going to start putting in a little bit of the grayer areas now, not the darker ones, just the grayer ones. So now that we're putting in the grayer values, and when we touch a white spot we do have to make them blend, but what happens if these gray values are not as dark as they should be? Some of them I've lightened up and some of them, like right around in here, are pretty dark. So I take the black 
and I go back in here and I work just a little bit of black in because black is a very strong color and will pretty much take over anything that it touches, especially your fingers. So you'll have to wash after this. Remember never to get any water on a chalk drawing because it ruins it. Okay, go in and put in all those little darker gray areas, for example, like in here. Very much darker. Just a little bit. And then rub and it blends. Now if you've gone too much, then of course you just go back and put your gray over top and keep working it till you get the color that you like. The value that you're happy with. So we've added in some of the darker grays. And then we put in a little bit of black around the teeth. Because remember we want to bring out those details. And then the final thing is just placing the black into the uh, sockets of the skull, the eyes and the nose. So how do I make the eye sockets look like they go farther back into the eye? Just by suggesting a little bit of roundness in the back. Looks like you can almost see into it. Very cool. Sign your name. Suggest a table. Again, so it's not a head floating in space. Here I just put some different values of chalks on the table, just to suggest there is a table, and put some dark right over here on the bottom. And then we're going to suggest a little background, and that'll be and it. And there we have it. From that to that, just by using three different colors. And turn it into the collection box when you're done. And wash your hands.